Brandon Heath. And my whole heart on CHVN 95.1 FM. Good morning, I'm Mike Tom. It is a beautiful start to our morning in Winnipeg. 16 degrees right now in downtown Winnipeg. And a special Winnipeg are joining us in the studios this morning. Joshua Gunther, you uh, were a Linden Christian School High School graduate. And somehow you ended up in Australia the last two years uh, going to Hillsong's College there. Just wonder, share a little bit. How does a boy from Winnipeg end up in Australia at Hillsong? Absolutely. Um, so I actually lived in South Africa. I know that sounds crazy, but um, I was there with my family, and uh, we got connected with Hillsong Church there because they have a church. They have a church in a few different places. Um, but so that's how we kind of got connected with it. And then uh, in grade ten, you know, I was really involved with music and worship, just all over in the city, and then uh, especially at my church. Um, and so I was just thinking more and more about it of like, this is, this is something that I really want to do. And, um, I had a couple different interests, but I was like, I want to go for at least a year, check this place out because Hillsong is an incredible church. Yeah. I'm sure their college is also amazing. And so, yeah, I went out there right after, right after high school. So that is really cool, Joshua. Now I'm sure too, it's not an easy decision to go from Winnipeg clear across the globe to Australia, leave your family and friends all behind. We'll talk a little bit about that. Maybe advice that you have for other teenagers wrestling with decisions on what to do next. Traffic and weather details. Weather's coming up in two minutes. Yeah. Toby Mack and Love Broke Through on CHVN 95.1 FM. Good morning, I'm Mike Tom. It is 17 degrees in downtown Winnipeg. We're talking to Winnipegger Joshua Gunther, who's home for the summer from school. He just spent the last two years at Hillsong's College in Australia. Joshua, what is that like? Like For some kids, they go to college, they don't even move out of their parents' basement, right? You go across the globe. Well, I mean, you go from living with your parents as an 18 year old kid. And then all of a sudden, like I left like 11 days after I graduated. Um, and so you're all of a sudden you're in a new country. I show up with my keyboard and my four bags on the front step of this church. And I'm, it was on a Sunday morning. And so I'm just like, I don't know anyone. I, and it's, it's so disorienting and you've taken a cab there and it's just like, where am I? What am I doing? Um, and then, you know, you meet people and, um, they're really good about just kind of getting you hooked in with community immediately. Um, so they have, you know, all sorts of different like student things immediately, but at the same time, it's still, it's still weird. Cause you're an 18 year old kid. You're used to your mom doing your laundry. You're used to, um, all sorts of different things. And then, Oh, I got to do that all by myself. I got to, I got to pay my bills. I got to do my laundry. I got to <laughs> buy my own food, you know? So it's an excellent learning experience, and I bet. it really kind of helped me gain a lot of independence pretty quickly. But, yeah. Uh, well, we're going to f- find out not only about your independence, but what it did for your faith life coming up in just a couple minutes. Three minutes to be exact. We'll continue the discussion with Winnipegger Joshua Gunther about going to Hillsong College. Here's Flood the Stone and holding you on CHVN. Flood the Stone and holding you on CHVN 95.1 FM. Good morning, I'm Mike Tom. It's 17 degrees in downtown Winnipeg. Joshua Gunther is with us this morning. We're talking about your experience going to Hillsong's College in Australia. Joshua, um, is there a verse that, that got you through that time or has inspired you while you're there? I think my life verse um, is Micah 6, 8, which is, um, and what does the Lord require of you, O man, to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? Um and that's something that's really stuck with me through all of it. Um, I'm actually going to school next year um, in Philadelphia to study economic development, um, which may seem like a total shift from music, but I think there's such a strong correlation between worship and justice. Um, obviously, the intent of studying economic development is I'd love to work in a nonprofit someday. Um, and... Um, that's something that's kind of stuck with me through this whole process and something I've been thinking about the whole time. Um, you know, just learning more about what God's heart is for people just in general, not just um, us here, not just someone who's quote unquote um, in the developing world, but 
God's heart is to restore everyone and to restore everything. And yeah. that can be done through worship. That can be done through acts of justice, through acts of kindness. So that's awesome. I think that's something that's really stuck with me. That's so amazing, man. Thanks so much, Joshua, for joining us this morning, talking about your experience at Hillsong College. Uh, good luck this fall as you go off to a new school once again. You can find out full story about Joshua and his experience at chvnradio.com.